Hi, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today's video is Ardha Chandrasana, a half moon pose. For this, if you have one, I recommend a yoga brick. If you don't have a yoga brick, a pile of books will do the job or anything that gives you just a little bit of height, but a fairly solid amount of height as Ardha Chandrasana is a balance. Then pop anything comfortable on and come join me on the mat. Lovely. So if you're practicing along, make sure you've done something to move the body and warm up a little bit, particularly through the hips and through the legs. And then we'll practice Ardha Chandrasana. So this is a balanced pose, but we're keeping our body open to the side. So it's all sort of on one plane, which makes it quite a tricky balance. This is where our brick or block comes in handy. I recommend practicing the first version of Ardha Chandrasana against the wall because it gives you a lot of information about how we're moving into the pose. So if you've got a space where there's a free bit of wall, find that now. If not, don't worry, just watch along and take in any information that is helpful. So Ardha Chandrasana with the wall, this is great to add a little bit of security when you're balancing. We want to start with a good distance between the legs, toes turned out of whichever leg you want to start on, and we'll use our brick here too. So we want to pop the brick down on the outside of that front foot, and we want this front foot to be a little way away from the wall. So I would say a good few inches, depending on how um, how steady you want to feel, how much you want to lean against the wall. Try not to have it so far away that you're dropping back to lean against the wall, but try not to have it so close that when we start to move forward, the wall pushes you out of the balance. So a few inches away, we'll bend into that knee, back hand on the back hip, and we're gonna reach towards the block. Once you've found the block, you can lift the back heel and start to lift that back foot. So our front hip, is leaning against the wall. As always, whenever we're using something to aid our balance, try not to re rely on it too much. Have it there as that extra bit of support. Our back leg lifts up. What you may notice is that front hip wants to start dropping down, the shoulder dropping down, and we're coming more towards somewhere in between a warrior three and Ardha Chandrasana. So we want to think about lifting that hip, opening out. So we're bringing that hip towards the wall, shoulder towards the wall. If you like, top hand can reach up and you're in Ardha Chandrasana. So come out, bend into the knee and bring yourself up. Making sure you practice on the other side. Having the wall can be a really good way as well of working with your drishti, your focus point where your eyes go. Because with Ardha Chandrasana, we can work towards looking up towards the ceiling, which can be quite wobbly. So having the wall there for that extra bit of moral support can really help with this pose. We want to make sure we push through that back heel, flex the back foot to help create that strength through the leg, and then coming out whenever you're ready. So have a few practices against the wall. If that works best for you for the moment, stick with that, or we'll give it a go just with the mat. Lovely, so once we've practiced it against the wall and we've taken in that information about the rotation through the spine, also it can help with that balance element of it if you're feeling a little bit wobbly today, we can then practice in the mat, in the mat, on the mat. <laughs> so practicing from the mat, I recommend coming from our warrior two pose and we want our brick at a little diagonal from the front little toe. So the outside edge of that front foot and we want it at diagonal. The further away the block is, the wider your base and therefore the easier it is to balance. So you can have a little play around with that. From here, we're then just gonna reach forward, lengthen through the spine, have your back hand on the back hip, take hold of the block and walk the back foot in. Once the back foot is walked in, lift the heel, Take a moment finding that balance first. This is a good point to notice if you started to drop the top shoulder, you can bring that shoulder back up, try and keep open to the side of the mat. And then if we feel good, that back foot lifts off the mat. And we want to try and flex the foot, push through the heel, 
Engage the muscles all up that leg. Use the glutes slightly to send the hips a little forward. And thinking about opening out through the chest. If we feel good, top hand can always reach up towards the ceiling. To come out, we bend into the knee again. Lower the foot down and draw yourself up. Lovely. We'll do that on the other side. Make sure we're even. Great, so starting in that warrior two position, reaching towards the block, lengthen through the spine, weight comes forward, lift the back heel when we feel steady, back foot floats up. I'm just gonna wriggle backwards because I'm headbutting the wall. <laughs> Opening out through the chest. Top arm could always reach up towards the ceiling. If you like from here, you can start to lift the gaze up towards that top hand. That can be quite wobbly though. So just make sure you feel nice and steady if you want to start turning the gaze up. And then you can bring the gaze back down, ready to bend into the knee and lower the foot down. Fab, so that's our Ardha Chandrasana. Obviously, you can start to work towards reaching down to the ground. So you can alter the height of your block by turning it onto its various sides. And then eventually, if you like, reaching down towards the mat for our Ardha Chandrasana. When we reach to the mat, it does make it more difficult, depending on your body proportions, to open out to the side. Especially if, like me, you've got short arms. It's quite a long way to reach all the way down to the mat. So I highly recommend practicing with a block when you can. If a block's not available, say you're practicing in a flow or you just don't have a block around when you want to practice it, a good alternative can be a floating Ardha Chandrasana. Not only as an alternative to having a block, but it builds up strength in the pose because we're just balancing through the leg rather than the hand. So a floating Ardha Chandrasana would be the hand reaching down, back foot flexed, trying to come into the pose with that bottom hand floating. It obviously adds that extra element of balance to it, but it's a really fun pose to throw into uh, flows or just into your practice when you feel like giving yourself an extra balance challenge. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you here again soon. Om Shanti.